Hello, my dear farmer friends. My name is Lirini. I'm working as subject matter specialist in plant protection discipline, Kevige Longleng, Nagaland. I'm going to speak on management of false mud of rice. False mud of rice occurs in almost all the rice growing areas. The disease has emerged as one of the most devastating grain disease. It affects rice panicles and is known to cause up to 44% loss. It causes both quantitative and qualitative losses. The yield losses have been estimated to vary from 0.2 to 49% in different places. The losses in grain yield occurs due to chaffiness. The disease contaminates the grains and straws, which are poisonous to both humans and animals. Symptoms Symptoms are visible at flowering stage. The individual kernels are transformed into large velvety green poles. Color changes to orange, yellowish green, olive green, and finally greenish black. In severe attacks, many poles may aggregate together, thereby reduce the yield. How to manage it? Sowing dead and heading period of rice could be planned to escape severe damage. Avoid infected seeds for sowing. At harvesting, the diseased plants should be removed first. Cultural practices like barns and field cleaning reduce the incidence of disease. Spraying of propiconazole 25 EC at the rate of 2 ml per liter of water during flowering reduce the disease incidence. False mud of rice, once considered a less significant disease, is gaining importance. Therefore, appropriate preventive and curative measures taken at the right time can keep the disease below the threshold level. Thank you. For further information on the talk, contact Kevige Longling.